Welcome to Abbeyfield Heritage Trail. Location number 11, Limerick Greenway. Port Castle, ruins, circa 1400s to 1700s. A viewing area and large information board on the Limerick Greenway, approximately 40 minute walk from the old railway station in Abbeyfield, identifies the site of the ruins of Port Castle. Although within touching distance of the Greenway, it is at times difficult to see due to overgrown trees. However, this once 17th century tower house and castle, which itself stands on the same site of an earlier 15th century fort, and which was originally known as the Fort of the Three Enemies, has been central to a number of significant aspects of regional and national politics and history between the 15th and 17th centuries. Thomas Fitzgerald, 5th Earl of Desmond, was forcefully disposed of all of his lands and his title in 1418 by his uncle James Fitzgerald after Thomas fell in love with and married Catherine McCormick of Abbeyfield, who was a daughter of one of Thomas's dependents, William the Monk of Field McCormick. The marriage did not comply with the Statutes of Kilkenny, a series of laws which severely and forcibly restricted relationships between those of Norman descent and those of Gaelic descent. Thomas and Catherine's love for each other and subsequent marriage effectively broke every rule in the book and cost them their entire fortune. They were forced to flee to France, where Thomas died two years later. However, he was so highly regarded that both the King of England and the King of France attended his funeral in Paris. The poet Thomas Moore wrote a love ballad entitled Desmond's Song, which began, By the fields wave benighted, no star in the skies, to thy door by love lighted, I foresaw those eyes. Some voice whispered o'er me, as the threshold I crossed, there was ruin before me. If I loved, I was lost. In 1580, on the 16th of March, Sir William Pelham and his army, who were loyal to Queen Elizabeth I of England, plundered and destroyed Port Castle, along with the Abbey in Abbey Field. This followed on from Pelham's earlier slaughter of 400 men, women and children at Clonahard Woods between Shannagolden and Atay on the 12th of March while searching for the then Earl of Desmond, Gerald Fitzgerald. 1583, on the 28th of April, Earl of Desmond, Gerald Fitzgerald, while staying in Abbey Field, writes a letter to Queen Elizabeth I asking for a truce in the ongoing war. However, Queen Elizabeth did not respond. Again in 1583, 11th of November, Gerald Fitzgerald, the last Earl of Desmond, was murdered in Ballymacalligate County Kerry by local forces loyal to Queen Elizabeth I and who were subsequently rewarded a ransom for same. This effectively put an end to the 500,000 acre empire that was the Earldom of Desmond and the beginning of a new wave of foreign ownership of most of the province of Munster. Thank you.